Happy Tuesday, fam. It is your girl, Kiana, and yes, I am back with another video. Hey, she's staying true to the schedule. <laughs> I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And of course, I throw bonuses in for my Pamper Saturdays just to kind of show you all how I like to kind of de-stress when I've had a long week, right? But that's not what today's video is about. No, no, no. Today's video is about something that I am truly passionate about when it comes to my store, my jam, my place, okay? And that is Bath & Body Works. And it's candles. Yes. You all know, if you have been following me for a while, my OGs, they know that one of the most favorite things that I get out of Bath & Body Works is what? A good damn candle. I love candles, y'all. I absolutely love them. It is nothing like coming home to a fresh, clean smelling home with my candles burning, okay? I absolutely love it. That is one of those moments where I kind of sit down, have me a glass of wine. Yes, your girl is no stranger to wine. I will have me a glass of wine in a minute and burn a candle. Yes, and these are the days of my life. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I like to enjoy doing. And what I wanted to do was kind of take you guys through some of my most favorite candles that I love to burn to kind of set a zen environment to also kind of set the ambiance and make my home nice, warm, and cozy. So if you are interested in those kind of videos, that is what I definitely love to bring you here on this channel, girl. Go ahead and subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell, and comment down below what candles you like to burn to set your ambiance. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started in this thing. I do have my candles divided into little groups, girl. So we got the foodie gourmand area. Then we have the nice, smoky, sexy group, okay? Along with bubbly. And then we have floral. And then I have my crisp, clean scents, okay? So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna start with my crisp, clean scents, all right? My first candle of choice, which I truly love burning, is going to be none other than Eucalyptus Rain. Y'all, I love this candle so much. Out of all of the stress relief line, I have to admit that this is probably one of my most favorite candles because it is not pow in your face like some eucalyptus scents can be, but this is a nice mellow scent. And even if you have a smaller bedroom, it is perfect. I literally only burn this candle in my bedroom. And when I tell you, I have a open concept home, right? And so when I actually burn this candle, if it's in the bedroom, you literally can smell it when you're coming through the garage. It is so strong. I am not playing with y'all. So fun fact about this candle, my husband messed around and forgot this joker was burning in the bedroom. Yes, girl, we could have been standing outside, soot on the face, hollering because the house could have burnt down, but it did not. <laughs> but when I came into the house, I said, oh, I said, it smells good as hell in here. And then I stopped and I said, wait a minute. Eucalyptus rain, eucalyptus rain. That's exactly what it's smelling like. So I ran to the bedroom and it was still burning, but it was strong as hell. When I tell you, my girls were standing up. And if y'all don't know, I love my house plants. I have girls, okay? They are my babies. Girl, when I walked in the house, them girls were standing at attention and they was like, Kiana, step into it. We in the ambiance up in this piece. And I was like, okay, me too, me too. <laughs> needless to say, needless to say, my husband is off candlelight duty, okay? But regardless, what is in this candle? We have aromatic eucalyptus, we have spearmint leaves, and then fresh sprig rain, of course. What is fresh sprig rain? <laughs> Girl, don't, don't. I don't know, but I'm just gonna tell you that this candle is amazing. The spearmint leaves to me creates a nice balance with the eucalyptus. Sometimes eucalyptus can be very strong, but the spearmint adds a little bit of that minty flavor and just a tad bit sweet and I do love it. Wow, this is, a, I am always going to repurchase this candle. It's dope. I'm gonna just sit this up all the way up here, girl. Push it back. And my next one, y'all, my next one, I have to have this 
every year, no matter what. And I'm going to continue to do it because my house smells so clean, y'all. So, so clean. After you deep clean your home and you burn this candle, girl, <laughs> girl, you probably can eat off the floor and smell that good, right? So that is none other than Frozen Lake. Frozen Lake girl is the girl. She is that chick. In Frozen Lake, you have lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, juniper berries. Now, the reason why I like this candle so much, juniper berries add just a touch of sweetness to the candle where it kind of scales it down. But the lavender is what adds that clean scent. You know what I mean? It's a clean fragrance and it's not strong too much to where it's stifling. It is very nice. You know what I mean? I would say a step down. I would say a step down from eucalyptus rain. I'm not going to even lie. This kind of reminds me of eucalyptus and spearmint. That is what I would definitely say about this. But I absolutely love this candle. It is a favorite of mine, honey. A favorite. The next two scents, and yes, honey, the next two scents I only burn in my bedroom. If you saw one of my videos, it was my top 10 alluring candles to burn in the bedroom. Honey, you missed a good one. You need to check it out, baby, because Valentine's Day is around the corner and y'all supposed to be setting moves. You understand what I mean? That's a day of love. So you know what you got to do, okay? So I will link that above for you. But these two were definitely featured in that video. All right. The first one is Champagne Toast. Y'all, this is a cult favorite. She really does not need any introduction whatsoever. She is a nice fruity scent, straight up fruity. So in this, you have bubbly champagne and sparkling berries and juicy tangerine. What really should be the first note in this candle is the tangerine because as soon as you sniff this candle, you get tangerine and berries. The champagne note, while it's in there, oh, while it's in there, it is not overpowering to where you think, okay, this is a boozy candle. Not boozy at all. I feel like the berries, the fruit, citrus aspect of the candle is more prevalent than anything in this candle. And it's amazing. It just works very, very well. Perfect, perfect candle to burn in your bedroom. Okay? Perfect. And the throw, the throw on this candle is an eight. No lie. Matter of fact, all of these candles that I've mentioned, they are eight or higher so far love it all right the next one is a new candle and it took me by surprise y'all when i smelled this candle i was like girl, girl you better shut your mouth bath and body works show out for me now granted it's a whole bunch of youtubers that kind of thinks this is a generic candle that's giving them champagne toast vibes but i can honestly tell you that this candle seems definitely different to me okay and that is bubbly rose this candle is perfection from the packaging to the actual burn i get an eight with this candle and i absolutely love to burn this candle in my bedroom in this the champagne note does come out you do get a little boozy scent but it's not one of those merlot type smells it is not one of those um like Ziffendale smells or sparkling Riesling or anything like that. You don't get that. It is a nice, sweet, mellow note that is consistent throughout the entire burn of this candle. Um, in this, you got the sparkling rosé, and that's what you actually get. You get sweet blood orange and then a splash of cranberry juice. Now, cranberry juice actually adds a nice tart aspect to this candle, while the blood orange, oh my gosh, it is so sweet. It is so freaking sweet, you guys. I'm not going to even lie. I have been saving this one. I burnt my other one. Legit, I have been saving this one because, <sighs> girl, I got to get my wits about myself to go in there when they have that candle sale, when the candles are $10 off because I've been, listen, I've been trying to be good. Your girl went ham when it came to sass. You've been following me, you know. So I've been trying to be a good girl, but I'm going to have to go back and throw this in the bag because I just can't hold on to it no more. You know, I can't do it. But this is a very good candle. To me, it is definitely different from Champagne Toast. Yes, you get a little bit of the champagne note in there that you would have in Champagne Toast, but Champagne Toast is so much fruitier than this candle. So much fruitier. So much fruitier. 
love it please we're gonna move on to that smoky type scent okay so y'all already know that she was gonna be a part of the crew no matter where i go she goes we go together okay honey and that is none other than miss marshmallow fire side oh my gosh i love myself some marshmallow fire side she just hit different i don't know what it is it literally smells like you are sitting literally fireside roasted marshmallows s'mores you about to eat you some s'mores you about to get down on it you know what i mean so in this you have toasted marshmallow smoldering woods fire roasted vanilla and crystallized amber and baby it's, it's sweet and woodsy and i love that comparison especially if you're not someone who loves straight up smoky candles now something that can be comparable but take the real sweet note out of it will be smoked vanilla i recently just got that candle and y'all i fell in love with that candle it's amazing a review is coming up shortly on that candle but if you cannot tolerate the sweetness of marshmallow fireside smoke vanilla is perfect for you okay but this is an amazing candle i'm always going to recommend this especially if you want to set the mood inspires warmth and coziness i love it love it love it love it love it okay now this is another one now this one is straight up sweet straight up sweet but i love it but it's, it kind of falls in the same family as Marshmallow Fireside because for me, I get a tad bit of smokiness in it. I'm not going to even lie to you. That's 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 on it. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb, okay? <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. That's what I get. But that is Lavender Marshmallow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This candle is so, so good. Oh my gosh. I love to burn this candle when it's nearing the end of winter and it's moving into springtime. I love it as a transitional scent. It's amazing and it's so cozy, y'all. So in it, obviously, you do have lavender and marshmallow. And literally, that is all that is on the back of my freaking label. That is it. Ain't that crazy? That's all that I have, y'all lavender and marshmallow the lavender in this is a sweet lavender it is a soft lavender it is not one of those boom in your face lavenders but the marshmallow is so it's so fluffy so creamy and so definitely sweet it smells like it's a hint of vanilla in it but again it was only these two fragrances in there so i'm not really sure but the where i get the smokiness from i'm thinking i bet y'all thinking like kiana where is the smokiness coming from the smokiness comes from this and this is no lie and anybody who has this candle y'all let me know how you feel too when you burn this candle when it melts together y'all this little smoke ring right here i'm not going to even lie to y'all it comes off as marshmallow fireside all day long with a hint of lavender in it it is so sweet so so great for transitional scents okay i love this you can burn this in the fall as well for me this is a candle that i can literally burn year round no lie oh my gosh i love this candle no lie i think i'm gonna burn this today and today i'm actually burning marshmallow fireside <laughs> what y'all burning <laughs> that's it for that one okay so a candle that i got last year now y'all it literally blew me away i had to have it i had to have it okay and that was fresh fall morning this candle is amazing the packaging of course <sighs> the packaging is so pretty so unique with these little pine trees i love it perfect for fall i'm not gonna lie i found myself feeling like this was not only a fall candle but a winter candle as well very versatile candle i love it in this one you have citrus zest woodland sage and red delicious apples oh my gosh when you add in that woodsy scent of course with that sage which can kind of be a little strong a little strong i'm not gonna lie to you a little strong earthy okay it's woodsy and earthy but the red delicious apples the apple scent it adds just the right amount of sweet to make this candle. It's, it's so unique, you guys. This candle is so unique. It's perfect, perfect scent, okay? I think it's very appropriately named Fresh Fall Morning because that is exactly when I burn it in. 
every now and then I just got to have it burnt. You know, I just, this is one of those candles where you got to have it burnt. It's, and it adds like a cologne aspect to it as well. But if you can get your hands on this, y'all, you will not regret this candle. The throw is amazing. Okay. The next one, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about her because you guys already know if you follow me, it is literally my most favorite scent when it comes to the body care. And you know damn well that I got to have it burning with the candle. I only burn her. I only burn her in my bedroom. And that is Cactus Blossom. Now this is in um, the packaging that came out, la not last year, but the year before last in candle day i loved it because of the wax it was green oh my gosh that wax is beautiful beautiful i am currently burning the pink white barn packaging but i absolutely love this candle it is florally yes it is but it is not too much floral to where it's unbearable for those who do not like floral scents now this is more of a perfume side of the house and the notes um, are kind of tricky to be honest with you. So you got cactus flower petals, sun-kissed coconut, and vanilla. Then you have a sparkling lemon in it. Now, real talk, honey, all of these scents play together very, very well. It comes off more like a soft perfume than it does a cactus petal. You know what I mean? It's not floor at all. To me, it's soft and light, and that is why I like to burn it in my bedroom because it adds a nice sensual aspect to the bedroom and it makes it very airy. So this is definitely one of those very pretty girly scents that I always recommend you burn in your bedroom. So perfect, so, so perfect. Now, on to my foodie candles, y'all. My foodie candles, y'all, oh my gosh. Now this one, mm, 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 mm. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say at least two of these candles. Two of these candles, y'all gonna go, oh, girl, 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 you on the good, good, you on the good, good, off top. Now, I'm gonna go over the first one and y'all let me know which two did you think I'm talking about. So, we got Berry Waffle Cone, O-M-G. This is one of those candles, when I smelled this candle on coal in store, I was instantly turned off. It just was not my cup of tea. I just did not understand what the hell I was smelling. You know what I mean? I could not get with the gourmand scent. I thought it was going to be one that was going to make me nauseated. So I kept passing it up. Well, I kept passing it up so much where I ended up getting it for SAS one year and it was on sale 75% off, believe it or not. So I grabbed this candle. I ended up getting two and I said, Kiana, what the hell? Just try it. And when I did, that was the best thing I could have possibly done because, oh my gosh, I love her. I love her. It literally smells like a waffle cone first. So you get that golden crusty, um, flaky crust is what you get. You know what I mean? And it's buttery, delicious. And then you throw in, for me, you, you kind of put in those warm berries. Oh M goodness. So in this, you got sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. So to me, it legit sounds like a nice Sunday. You know what I mean? Get you some of that Alamo, put it on top. Oh my gosh. Put those berries on top, honey, and have a little waffle cone to mash them things up. That's exactly what you get. This is amazing and it is so powerful. If I burn this only one, you can smell it upstairs. No lie. Perfect candle. Do not let cold sniff fool you. Pick it up. Thank me later. Amazing. The next one is my jam. She literally smells like every note in this candle. Always going to be a stunner. Always one of those scents that if someone comes in your home, they are going to compliment on how good it smells. No lie. Okay. And that is strawberry pound cake she is a winner i love this packaging of course i have the other packagings but for me this was probably the sleekest and i thought it was so freaking cute i love to burn this candle everywhere everywhere there's no preference i probably won't put her in the bathroom because i can't disrespect her candle I, I can't girl i can't disrespect you like that you know what i mean you're not going in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, in her, she has fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. The whipped cream to me comes off as a fluffy vanilla scent. I love every second of this candle. The strawberries are definitely very fresh. 
very fresh strawberries and then you do get the golden shortcake to me it kind of smells a little bit like cupcakes but i love it perfect perfect blend it burns so well so so well i love every second of it and the reason why i love it look at this pink wax come on y'all if you got if you got a beauty room come on girl come on this is it this is it i love it now the next one is a newfound love it's a newfound love I found it. Now, one, I got some wallflowers in this fragrance. And when I smelled the wallflowers when I got home, I said, you know what, Kiana? You got to go and get that candle. And lo and behold, I found this candle at an outlet. If you watch my videos, you know I found it at an outlet. And it quickly, quickly ran up the charts for me. And it's damn sure in my top 10, maybe my top five. This candle is amazing. And that is Blueberry Pie. This smells so good i ended up getting this candle for 75 percent off y'all and i was like what if i can find some more y'all i promise you she will be bought the hell up but this candle legit smells like a blueberry pie like you legit in the kitchen and you making that blueberry pie in this you have juicy blueberries flaky crust sugar crystals <sighs> oh m goodness honestly with this candle i can only it, it the burn is so good and the throw is out of this world i could literally only burn this for about two and a half hours it girl you only need one and it will fill your house and then after two and a half hours i start to kind of get tired of blueberry pie she's so damn powerful i'm not going to even lie but if you want your money's worth baby try uh, girl try this candle out try it out i promise you you will not regret it perfect you get every note times 10 this candle i promise you is a throw of a 10 10 honey 10 okay so the last two candles actually the last three because i'm actually burning one y'all so the last three candles and this is probably one of the this is up there again with some of the strongest candles at bath and body works Anybody who's been following Bath & Body Works candles, this is not a stranger, okay? This is legit not a stranger. But it is one of my favorites that I'm always going to get because I like to be a barista every now and then. You know what I mean? And that is Paris Cafe. She is amazing. Now, I'm not going to lie. She will have your whole entire living room and kitchen, I'm telling you, smelling like straight up coffee style like starbucks so if you don't want to smell like starbucks in your crib then this is the candle that you stay away from but when i tell you this is not one of those stinky coffee ground smells and i know y'all know what i'm talking about some of them can be pungent you understand what i mean this is a nice freshly ground brewed coffee light kind of like a blundie a pike place or something like that i love it so you got rich roasted coffee sugar brioche and then you have a vanilla creme and it's so great the brioche and the creme adds a little sweetness to it that makes the coffee tone mm. Mm. just thinking about this baby oh i love this candle y'all if you like coffee scents please do not sleep on this candle it is amazing amazing and you only need one that's the tripped out part about it you only need one throw is a 10 10 okay so the next one that i got and i ended up getting this one last year for candle day i saw it and i had to have it i was intrigued by the name i was wondering what it was gonna smell like you know what i mean and that is peppermint sugar cookie oh my gosh i ended up burning this candle y'all oh my gosh i burnt it in my bedroom and it was amazing it legit smelled like a peppermint shortbread cookie is what it smelled like like a sugar cookie it's it literally is amazing you got crushed peppermint vanilla extract creamy butter soft sugar cookies and y'all when i tell you you get every last one of these notes my candle has been burning consistently i literally am kicking myself in the leg because i only got one so when i burned it y'all i had got so excited i started to burn it down then i realized oh crap you literally only got one of these candles so i pulled back when i tell you i pulled back quick 
I got to find this candle. I have been looking for it. I prayed for Sass that I was going to find this candle. And honey, everybody else felt the same way I did because I can't find this joker nowhere. So I'm not trying to pay Macari prices though, y'all. I, I love this candle, but I can't pay Macari prices. So the search is going to continue. And hopefully I see this candle again because when I do, I'm stocking up on this candle. No lie. No lie. Next is the candle that I'm burning. And baby, it's got my room humming 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 now this came out last year i want to say it was last year was it last year? yes it came out last year and it was like one of those freak launches that they dropped out of nowhere and it was a whole bunch of foodie scents and i had to have it they had key lime pie in there i think they had something crumbles coffee crumbles or something like that but this candle stayed online for a while and it literally was like the last to sell out and i'm got a lit and i'm trying not to burn myself it was like the last to sell out y'all chocolate rose macaron o m g people slept on this candle they slept on this candle and it was not the one to play with to me i haven't even gotten a chance to try any of the other scents apart from key lime pie which they came out before on other releases i was intrigued by this like to me it's an unlikely pair it smells like this the chocolate is a nice milk chocolate smells so far away from hot cocoa and cream the rose adds just enough floral to make this candle perfect i'm not going to even lie to you the chocolate and the rose element they come together so smoothly and to add in that cookie oh mg i can sit here and smell this all day y'all i've been burning this candle for about three hours i need to burn it <laughs> listen I need to blow this candle out, but I'm having a hard time because I love it so. But again, this is kind of like peppermint sugar cookie. I legit only have one and once it's gone, it's gone. So I'm going to blow her out. I hate to do it, but I got to save her until I find her again. Oh my gosh. Bath and Body Works, please, please, please bring her back out, please. Okay, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making this video. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about those candles. So hopefully I made your job just a little bit easier. When you go into store, Bath & Body Works is hitting us with a candle sale. Seems like every week at this point, $10 off, girl. And if you got a coupon, girl, what you waiting on, huh? <laughs> go in, get you a few of these candles and thank me later, right? But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to catching you in Thursday's video. Peace.